so the first thing you're going to draw, you don't want to draw the detail yet, okay? So you want to draw uh, the whole banana. What is the angle of that banana? I want you to think about like a rectangle. So you want to see the rectangle's direction. So you can do that, put your pencil uh, to see where is the angle. So making sure that it's just the right angle. The whole banana. Don't look at the curved line or any other things. When you get it, this is correct and it's pretty easy just to fix it to be look like the shape of the banana. First step, very important to find the whole direction of the banana. What's the angle of the whole banana? We're going to draw. This part is almost like 40% of the whole width. Find that. Since I already have the rough shape of the banana, I'm going to starting from right at this end and focus on one inch at a time. And this moving. Okay, look again and draw and look again. Every time when I pause it and I look, I stop and look for the new information before I continue drawing a little bit at a time. Okay, now this is good. I'm going to come here to draw the shape here. There's the angle of the line. Just I draw a little bit at a time and look a little bit at a time. Like this. What next I'm going to do, I'm going to start blending a little value in here and the value over here too. Okay. When you're not sure, you want to stop and look. Okay. And I'm going to go that direction of line. The direction. Uh, follow the contour of the form. I have using two directions already on this shape. One is this direction, right? One is just go toward the contour of that boat, go with the contour, but two different directions. And I'm putting some value in here too. Okay, like that. And then next, I'm going to start working into the caster shadow. But look and find the direction. This is the area. That. And I'm going to start shading into uh, the catch the shadow area. Starting from light. And then go into a little darker. A little bit darker inside. Every time you're not sure, look again. Okay, now I come here, come back in here to fine tune some details, and and over here I see some area also have a little darker than white. Now we're gonna use the branding stamp. And after branding the objects, it made the objects look much more realistic. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do two things. One is using a pencil. And this time I'm going to use a 6B, a little bit darker. Now I make the darkest point 
emphasized to be the darkest in the shadow. And this is another point here. And here have some details. Okay. The last thing we are gonna do is to use a eraser. I'm gonna have that for the lighter. So use the eraser as your last last step. It's not about correction. It's about with touching the light value. And now we finish the drawing.